Hey everyone, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're at the beautiful Sanctuary Ridge Golf Club in Claremont, Florida. Got this whole tee to myself today. It's in great condition and it's an absolutely beautiful, gorgeous day out here. So, alright, let's get started. This is one of my favorite drills of all time. I remember when I saw it back in 2000, I was teaching out at Windermere Golf Center and I was walking by an instructor and his pupil who was a very accomplished junior player and I remember going what in the world is going on here I have never in all my life seen anything like this as far as like the drill I, I did not understand it so I had to stop and, and ask him like what what is going on here this, this is the most unique thing I've ever seen because all that was happening the junior player was just swinging their hands and arms there was nothing going on with the body and they were just swinging their arms and hands and he simply told me we're working on the function of what do the arms and hands and wrists do in the golf swing and we're keeping everything else out of it we're just hitting a small shot you know 50 yards i think i think the junior player was hitting a, a gap wedge or sand wedge and not swinging hard very slow rhythm and just working on the position of where the arms were halfway back and where the position was halfway through so it made sense to me and from that day on I actually worked with my pro and we worked on this drill a lot and I remember hitting a gap wedge and wearing the center of the club face out. I had no grooves, I put a dent in it and I, don't, I must have hit five, six thousand balls doing this drill and it really kept me quiet because I came from the old school of lifting my left foot up on the back swing, had a lot of leg movement so this drill really helped me and I've used it over the years in my instruction and it's, man it's been a great tool in the bag for training aids and I, I really I hadn't seen anything out on videos on, on, on instruction about how to do this drill so I wanted to take the time today to show you how to do it okay so in my hitting area I've got a club down for alignment and I also got one for my club path on the backswing and through swing again it's set up how I am in a dress I'm gonna have the ball placement in the middle I have a pitching wedge I'm gonna hit this about half speed and the way I describe it to my students when we first do it, we don't want to move anything. Think of yourself as like a swing set. And let me describe that before I get in here. This is very important for you to understand. It simplifies it. Think about like your shoulders, your head's the top rail of the swing set. Your legs are the posts coming down to the side. They're not going to move. They're concreted in the ground. And the only thing moving on the swing set would be the chain links down with the seat, which would be your arms and hands. So we're going to keep everything quiet. Don't move. Keep your head still and just swing your arms. Remember, this is an arm and hand and wrist drill. We're not going to play like this. We're working on the mechanics of what our arms, hands, and wrists do in the golf swing. So here we go. Let me hit one. I'm going to show you how it goes. We're going to go like I described here, like 9L. We're going to hit 3L. So we have 6, 7, 8, 9, and then we hinge. That would form an L. Same on the front end. Okay, and I'm going to try to do this easy. I'm not going to hit it hard. And I hold my finish. And I look out there. Oh, and it went dead straight. I hit that 50 yards. I am not trying to hit it hard. I kept everything quiet. Just here. Boom. Extension. My eyes on the ball. My legs stay still. I'm keeping everything. I'm hunkering down. I'm pushing my legs in the ground. So it's not to mean to be hard, a very hard, fast drill. It's meant to be slow and understand what makes the ball go straight with the proper wrist hinge and path, okay? All right, we're gonna look at it from down the line so you can see a really good picture of how that looks going down the foot path. Okay, I wanted to give you this view of down the line for doing the arm and hand drill. This is a great angle. I wanna show you my station I got set up here. Again, I use a T when I do this. I'm using a pitching wedge. So I've got this club set up the same angle as the shaft I put in the ground here on the front end also. And I've got it set up with the foot line. This is where I'm lining up my feet is where this is. And on the front end, you can see that. All right, let me show you the position. This is what I worked on for months. I've Three or four months I did this drill every day, like four or 500 balls easily. So get set up here ball position in the middle one thing I'm looking for here when I'm looking out there when I'm doing it I want my left arm to be down my foot line with the toe of this club pointing up 
with the hinge. So like I was saying, nine L, I'm gonna swing again. And right here, my right arm goes down the line, toe of the club there, it's pointing up. And I know I gave you the swing set analogy, I'm gonna give you another one here. Belt, buckle at the ball, watch your handicap fall. Okay, that's one of the sayings I always use. It always, it will stick with you. But for this drill, if you can keep that belt buckle at the ball, that will keep you still also. All right, just another trick. Okay, I'm gonna try to do one at like 60, 70%. This is a pitching wedge. And that one went exactly straight. I've done it so many times, I've got the habit of it. You're not trying to hit this hard. I hit that dead center in the club face. You no, know, I was straight back, straight through. Something you can take immediately. You can do this in your backyard. Just look at the positioning and what your arms and hands are doing. It's one of the best drills I've ever done just to isolate the movement so it simplifies it. At least you can see, hey, my arms and hands are doing this right. And then after you get an idea of that doing it, then you can add the body to it. You know, the golf swing can be complicated if you're trying to fix something and you're doing all this movement. It's easier to isolate the movements. And that's why I'm a big fan and I love this drill. I've been doing it almost 20 years now. So it's uh, definitely been one of the, my favorite drills of all time. So check out some other great videos I've made here in the last month, month and a half too on barnhillgolf.com.